I just saw Dune Part 2 in the theaters, and I must say, what a movie. Seriously, this is one of the best movies I've ever seen. And um, although it's now one of my favorite movies of all time, I kind of don't like the story. How is that possible? Well, I'll explain now. Hi everybody, my name is Josip and I'm a filmmaker that over the years kind of specialized in creating Christian content and mostly Catholic content because I am Catholic and I must say I have some thoughts about the movie but first to introduce the movie itself so Dune Part 2 is the sequel to the Dune that came out in 2021 it's directed by Denis Villeneuve and I must say he's one of the best directors out there currently uh, the music is top-notch Hans Zimmer again did it it's it's way better for me than the first movie and the main theme of the movie it's it's on repeat on on my youtube music and the acting was uh, top-notch the casting was perfect except one person for me uh, timothy chalamet was perfect as paul atreides but on the other hand uh, everyone loved zendaya but for me she kind of fell flat uh, I don't know, here you have this story that even like Jordan Peterson would describe, like you have a woman and this guy, this boy, would become a, a, a man alongside this woman. But here, I don't feel that Zendaya's character would have the power to do this. Like She feels like this high school uh, kind of gripey uh, girl. She doesn't feel like a serious woman and a serious warrior. She is portrayed like that, but in the scenes where they're together, obviously they have chemistry, they're kind of a similar age, and that worked okay, but on the other hand, when she's the warrior, it kind of fell flat. But now on to my thoughts as a Catholic, and what did I think about the movie? So yeah, I said, this is one of my favorite movies, but the story is problematic, to say the least. And now I understand Tolkien, who hated the story. He explicitly said he hates the story. And I was kind of puzzled. Why? Because I didn't read Frank Herbert's uh, Dune. But now I watch the movies and now I kind of understand. Tolkien's characters were driven by either good or evil. Here you have Paul Atreides that is driven by revenge. And it's kind of a nihilistic story, to be honest. And I can imagine a lot of Christians will have problems with the story because here you have Paul Atreides as this messianic figure. And obviously you have analogies here. Simply, the uh, religions here are portrayed as tools in the spread of someone's agenda. And I can already see uh, non-religious people uh, pointing fingers and at religious people saying haha see how uh, actually your religion functions here yes religion can be used as a form of propaganda as a form of spreading your power i will say that islam has some of those aspects in its core but in christianity in the person of jesus christ you have a totally opposite an antithesis to Paul Atreides. And the time when this movie got released is also kind of significant to me. I, I know it's pure coincidence, but it's Lent now. It's the time when we reflect Jesus in the desert for 40 days. And here we have a story that focuses on the desert. Uh, the visuals even kind of remind me of the Judean desert where Jesus went for 40 days. And in the desert, Jesus was tempted by the devil. He was offered everything, power, the kingdoms of this world. On the other hand, in the movie, you have Paul Atreides that is reluctant. But Jesus, he knows his role in this world from the beginning. Jesus is content with what he is, where Paul Atreides is revenge-driven. Paul Atreides kind of isn't altruistic in his uh, gathering of the Fremen. He just wants to use their power for his goals. So this is actually a story, what would have happened if Jesus accepted the offer. It's kind of a cool way to watch the movie as a Catholic then, which also in that way then elevates the choices that Jesus made, the humbleness and the acceptance of sacrifice, to sacrifice himself. Paul Atreides saw the future, 
he saw all possible outcomes and there's only one way where his enemies do not win they do not win with his gain of power but there's always another way there's always a way where love prevails and Jesus showed that way even if it means suffering and surrendering yourself to that enemy also some analogies that I can make with Christianity and this movie is the role of parents in, in Paul Atreides' life his father almost reminds me of Joseph Oscar Isaac was even playing both he played Joseph in, in one of the movies about Jesus and here he plays Paul Atreides' father a person which, for which the emperor says that he is driven by the heart. But I wouldn't say that. It's more of a spiteful way for the emperor to say that. He was more driven by compassion. Because he wasn't stupid. The heart can oftentimes be uh, naive if it wants good. And also brutal if it wants evil. But the more significant character for the... Uh, rise of Paul Atreides is his mother and here we obviously have the analogy with Holy Mary Lady Jessica on one hand she wants good for her son but is it good she actually wants power and she is proactive in that she's the one that connects these situations and make things happen so she in a way manipulates the situation for Paul Atreides to rise where Holy Mary doesn't want to intervene she says, here is my son. She's just here to encourage Jesus to be with him, to love him. But in the end, I feel that Frank Herbert's story doesn't have that much depth regarding the philosophy of Dune in contrast to the philosophy of Christianity. I just want to say I might be overcooking here, and all of us actually, when we dissect these stories this much. Tolkien's work, on the other hand, is grounded in Christianity and it has much more depth so you can analyze it where in Dune it feels like some of the religious um, themes are just tropes to progress the story and it just feels cool but these are just my initial thoughts for now I've just seen the movie I've just seen it once so there's still some time for me to think about the movie and I want to hear your thoughts Either you're a Christian or you're an atheist. What do you think about the movie and the religious themes that it explores? Until next time, see you.